Good morning. Welcome to another lesson of the Good Values Club. The new term has started. Children have started going to the school. I am missing school. But don't worry. Once the lockdown is finished, I will come to the school and see you all. But for now, enjoy these lessons. So today's lesson is again from the Sunray books, Sunray book of Tuesday, written by Mr. and Mrs. Tendon. Thank you very much for allowing us your story. So there we go. A short story, two short stories, one real one. Real one, real. My story, our story. You'll be able to listen later. But what is the value today? The value today is right conduct. Do you remember the fruit for the right conduct? Come on, say it. Is it the strawberry? Is it the pear? Is it the grapes? Is it the apple? No, right conduct is two cherries. Remember, cherries, two, they come in two. So two cherries, two eyes to look at good things, two ears to hear good things, two lips to speak good things, two hands to help other people, hands that tell are great to legs to take you to good places. So, right conduct it is. And today's story is very short story. They're two short stories, but very, 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 very important ones. And I'm not going to call them stealing because I don't like the word stealing. Today's story is about taking things without permission. Now, when the children are young, very young, three years, four years old, five years old, they don't understand what is right and what is wrong. It's the duty of the parents and the teachers to teach the children. So, in case in, cl in your class you have somebody who takes things without permission, don't put labels on that child and start saying stealing, thief, no. No, because we need to help that child to understand that what they're doing is wrong. So our story is why this happens or what happens. So there you are. The first story is taking place in India. Now in India, there are many people who earn money by selling vegetables. And what they do is they have a little cart and they push the cart and they got vegetables on the top of the cart. And they go from street to street selling to people. So one man was pushing the cart like that and he was saying, Golden mangoes, golden mangoes, come and take my golden mangoes, sweet mangoes, fresh mangoes, ripe and juicy mangoes. I love mangoes. Do you love mangoes? My mouth is watering. So this lady, she went out and she saw a man selling mangoes on the cart. And she went to him and said, um, excuse me, how do you sell these mangoes? He said, very, very juicy mangoes, ma'am. They are only 10 rupees per kilo. And she said, can I pick my own mangoes? He said, of course. I don't cheat at all. You can take the best you want. So he gave her a polythene bag. And he took out a small rusted scales. You know where you put the weight and you put the mangoes and you weigh the mangoes? The lady said, 
This is one kilo. I want 10 kilos. It's going to take a long time. Don't you have a five kilos weight? No, ma'am. But don't worry. I'll do it very, very quickly, he said. And the lady said, no, you know, it's going to take a lot of time. I have got an electronic weighing scale. So, if you don't mind, you give me approximately 10 kilos of mangoes and I'll take it to my house and I'll weigh them. Okay, he said. So, he gave her two polythene bags and with the mangoes. And he said, go, go and weigh 10 kilos and bring me the rest. The lady was surprised. She said, Aren't you going to come in to see? To see what, ma'am? To see what I'm weighing? If I'm weighing correct? Suppose I cheat you. Suppose I take more mangoes. He said, the man said, ma'am, I trust you. I trust you. You look like a very respectable woman. I don't think you will cheat me. But even if you cheat me, I will lose a few rupees. But you will become a cheat. You go ahead. I'll wait here. I trust you. Mm, the lady was impressed. So when she went inside, she told her husband. I said, he, 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 he allowed me to wait inside and he's not coming inside. Mm, the husband said, I don't trust these people normally, but this man seems to be somebody who has got a lot of values. He must have got the values when he was a little boy. Fantastic. So, the lady took, weighed the 10 kilos. She didn't make any mistake. Exact. And she went and paid him the money and took the mangoes. Now, what happened in the afternoon? She had a daughter called Nandini and Nandini wanted to buy some stationery. So she took her to a stationery shop to buy a pencil case and erasers and things like that. And the shopkeeper was very kind. He showed her very different types of boxes and all different types of stationary things. Scissors, salo tape, markers, staplers, and even a funny looking rubber like banana, bana I call it banana rubber, and colorful pencils. You know what children? I love stationery. I love going into a stationery shop and just look at the different things. And I've got lots of stationery in my house. So, she wanted to buy a pencil case. So her mom told her, no, 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 no. Mom, I want that one, that fancy one. Mom, I want Mom said, no. I said, you know the fancy ones, they get broken very quickly and they're expensive. I think, just choose the simple one. Nandini Nimbo was not very happy. But she couldn't say no to her mother. So the mother, they bought the pencil case and the mother was about she was about to pay the money and she saw Nandini's pocket was bulging. Bulging means she had something in her pocket. And she said to Nandini, What's that in your pocket? What's there in your pocket? Nandini, nothing mom, just some candies. Lied. That's not one of the values. 
you know the values truth love peace right action non violence she did not speak the truth so nandini's mom put her hand she looked at nandini's face she could make out something is wrong she put her hand in nandini's pocket and took out a sharpener and nandini went red in the face and nandini's mom noticed that there were a few sharpeners on the counter i wonder which one she took Did she did she take this tie this what a fancy one or did she pick the yellow one Did she have this squarish crimsony one I like that Or did she choose a funny looking sharpener Or perhaps she went for the orange one or even green or blue maybe she's a girl so she picked a pink one i don't mind girls can have blue ones and boys can have pink ones it doesn't matter no in her pocket was this very fancy sharpener so in other words she had taken that sharpener without her anybody's permission yes i know we call it stealing but gandhini is a small girl she did not know what is right and wrong her mother looked at her and said why did you take that why did you steal nandini She asked the girl, "Why did you steal Nandini?" And you know what Nandini replied, "Because you don't buy me fancy stuff." Zadi Zobi, "Because you don't buy me fancy stuff." The mother put the sharpener back on the shelf, and and he said, "She said, 'I'm glad I noticed this before I left the shop.'" The shopkeeper said, "It's okay, lady." I noticed what your daughter did. I noticed her putting that in the pocket. But I chose to keep quiet. Because I know you are a respectable lady and I thought I should not embarrass you. That made the mom even more upset. That hit her even harder. By now the girl was very very upset and she started crying you could see she was really distressed so the kind shopkeeper took out a lollipop a candy and said don't cry my child here take this you must tell your mother next time if you want something and not pick things like that the mother looked at nandini she grabbed that candy from her hand lollipop from her hand and she put it on the counter and she said please softly she said please don't give this to nandini i don't want her to think that there is a reward for stealing put it back and she gave the sharpener back she gave the candy back and she got hold of nandini's hand and she went into the into the car and she closed the door and throughout the journey to home mom was silent she didn't speak a word i wonder why she didn't speak a word she did not speak a word because she was very very upset with her daughter of course she should be upset nandini did have to learn a lesson 
that it is wrong to take somebody else's things. And I'm sure Nandini learned her lesson and never did it again. So this is the story from India. Now remember, I told you that I've got another story, our own story, a real story. And when I was teaching in my school, I used to tell this story to the children. And they always used to tell me, Mr. Kumar, can you repeat your sister's story? Because that was my sister's story. It so happened when my sister Anjali was very, very small. She was four years, I think, roughly four years. And one day, she and my mom went for shopping in Kenya. They went to a shop. And in the shop, they sold, apart from clothes and other things, some small, small toys for the children. So there was a little, little um, gas cooker, small toy gas cooker, little utensils. And my sister went and started looking at it, them. And my mom said to her, no, 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 we, we don't want those things at the moment. Not yet, my da darling. Not yet. And she bought the clothes she wanted. And this in Africa, where I stayed, it was very, very hot. So in the heat, she had to walk all the way back home. And when she came home, she saw that my sister was playing with a little spoon very tiny spoon, very tiny spoon. I remember the day and my mom said to my sister, where did you get this spoon from? And as I said, three or four year old, they don't know what is right and wrong. So she said, oh, I brought, took it from the shop. My mom said, no, that's wrong. That's very, very wrong. So. She got hold of her hand and she pulled her and my sister was crying and crying and she said, no, we have to go and return it to that man. We have to do it. So my sister was crying all the way back to the shop. And when my mom reached there, my mother said to my sister, give this spoon back to the man. Give it back to him now. It belongs to his shop. And the shopkeeper was, you know, very friendly, like our friend, like this other man. He said, it's okay, it's okay. Don't worry, it's a tiny spoon. My mother said, no. He said, oh, let her take, it's okay. I, I'm giving it to her. My mom said, no. Not today. You want to give her another day? That's different. But not today. Because she must learn a lesson that it is wrong to take something without permission. Children, not only she remembered it throughout her life, even me and my other sister, we remember this incident and we never forget. We never forget and we never take people's things without permission since that day. Thanks to my mother who gave me those values and please say a big thank to your mothers who are teaching you to not to take things without anybody's permission because that is not right. So children, these are the two stories. Now, I'm going to ask you some questions on that first story. Why was the vendor not worried for the lady to weigh the mangoes in her house? And the answer to that is because he knew that if she cheats, it's going to, she's going to remember she'll be a cheater for life. And it's not the right thing. She, he knew 
and she wouldn't do it. Why did Nandini, Nandini take the pencil sharpener? Well, Nandini took the pencil sharpener because she liked it. She wanted it. But her mother wouldn't buy it. But, so she took it. Why was her mother embarrassed? Her mother was embarrassed because that was not the right thing to do. And she didn't want her daughter to be called a thief. Why was her mother even more embarrassed? She was even more embarrassed when she came to know that the shopkeeper actually saw her daughter taking it, but didn't say anything. That is what right in the face. How, do you, how did you feel when Nandini was caught? That's a very mixed feeling. I think, I felt that it was the right thing that she got caught because only then she would learn the lesson. We felt sad for her as well. But even more than that, what lesson do we learn from this story? Well, the lesson we learn is that others' things do not belong to us. If we want them, we have to ask permission. Have you ever been in this situation? Well, we'll do that as an exercise. Okay, today's poster, quotation. Only take others' things with their permission. Only take others' things with their permission. So, if you want something, ask first. Ask. Please. And don't forget to use the word please. That's manners. Please, can I have this? And if you're a pleasant person, other people and people will share their things. Good children will share their things. Okay. Now, I think before we do the activities, let's do a bit of silent sitting. Okay, sit straight. Back straight. I hope I can get this back now because normally it goes away after some time. There, I think it will work now. Imagine there is a light in front of you. Look at the light. Imagine the light. Gently close your eyes. Let this flame of love flame of values, the flame of truth, love, peace, right action and non-violence. Let this flame enter your mind. Let the values enter your mind. And think, I will think of good things. Take this light to your eyes. I will see good things. Take this light to your mouth. I will speak good things. Take it to your hands. I will do good things. Take this light to your feet to take you to good places. Light to your parents, grandparents brothers, sisters, cousins, 
family, whole family. Let everybody be happy and healthy and safe. Take it to your friends. Take it to the people in Leicester, in every part of England, in every part of the world, wherever you are. Take it to all the people in the world. May the whole world be happy. Now slowly come back and think about today's story. Think about taking people's things. Before you take things, you have temptations. Temptation means a feeling to take something. Learn not to take other people's things. Know that it is not a good value. Be happy with what you have. May you have peace, love, and may you get all the things you want. Slowly, slowly bring this flame back in front of your mind. Then through your mind, take this light into your heart. Let this light of love stay in your heart and make everybody happy. Very gently and slowly. Think of the story you have just read. Heard. And remember, always ask if you want somebody else's thing. May you be good. May you have the values in the world. May you be the best child in the world. May you respect your parents your teachers, your elders. May you follow all the values. Think of all the good values. Think of all the values going inside you. May you practice all the values. Slowly and gently, Slowly and gently come back to the room and wow, it is so beautiful. Gently, very gently. Very gently open your eyes. And now the activities. I have got two simple activities for you. Because the story was related to stationery, so I thought uh, maybe we can do some work to do with stationery. But before that, I have a worksheet and 
this is the worksheet and I call it temptation worksheet. Now, what does that mean? That means just like Nandini really, really wanted that sharpener. I know she took it. It was a wrong thing to do. She didn't ask. But she was tempted to take it. Tempt there was a temptation. She wanted it badly. That's not the right way to do, go about it. As we learned from the story, we can ask our parents to buy it for us. But I would like you now, there are one, two, three, four, five. There are five circles here. So what I would like you to do is think of five things that you would really, really wish to have. Doesn't matter if you are not having that, but something you would like to have. Maybe you could draw or mention it. And no, I, I'm not talking about something very, very big. Not something like an Xbox or expensive thing, phone. No, I'm talking about simple, simple, simple thing. Simple things like... Um, like, like the sharpener, which you wanted. So, write them there. You never know if you follow the values, if you do good work. Perhaps you can get them as a present one day, as a reward from your parents. You never know. But you can use this temptation sheet to draw and write. So, there is the temptation sheet. Now, the next activity. The next activity is to make a little pencil case. And to make the pencil case, what I did was I took a card and I folded the card. And after folding the card, I took a scissor scissors and I make some made made a sort of a pattern now I'm doing it quickly because I just want to show you and then I glued them inside like this so if you look at it that's my pencil case I want to put some stationery in there so if you look at the sheets you can download and you can have these things Stationery, stationery. I love you, stationery. I love a pencil case. And in my pencil case, I am going to put all these things. Perhaps, if I don't want to put in them, I could stick them on the pencil case. So there. Yeah, I'm doing it quickly with the, there. I've got my scissors over there. Then I can put some color pencils there. Shall we do that? Okay. Let's see how my is going to look. There, two, one, two, three. I think I'll just put four things. I'm doing it very quickly so that, you know, just to give you an idea, you can get pictures from somewhere else as well. So I've got this glue, I put a little bit of glue, there is a pencil, I love colors and I bet you love colors as well. I know you like gel pens, don't you? So perhaps you can get a picture of a gel pen from somewhere or even scented pens you like. So there, so I've got these three things already on that, on that here. And, okay, one or two more things and then we'll go for the song. Highlighters. I know you like highlighters. I like highlighters. There. I'll just put a few things over there. And if you want, you can put loads of things inside. And pretend this is your pencil case. You can share it with your brother or your sister. So, 
there you are so that's the second activity uh, something funny okay now let's have the song who is afraid of the big bad wolf i think next week we will try and see if we can get another song so who is afraid of the big bad wolf big bad wolf big bad wolf who is afraid of the big bad wolf we are not afraid i am not afraid who is afraid to speak the truth i am not afraid who is afraid of showing love i am not afraid who is afraid of doing good good values children you are not afraid and who is afraid of being kind I know none of you because you are all so kind. Shall we sing? Are you ready? Clap your hands. Get ready. Afraid of the big bad wolf, the big bad wolf, the big bad wolf. Who is afraid of the big bad wolf? We are not afraid. Who is afraid to speak the truth? Speak the truth. Speak the truth. Who is afraid to speak the truth? We are not afraid. Who is afraid of showing love? Showing love. Showing love. Who is afraid of showing love? We are not afraid. Who is afraid of doing good? Doing good. Do we good? Who is afraid of doing good? We are not afraid. Who is afraid of being kind? Being kind. Being kind. Who is afraid of being kind? We are not afraid. We are not. We are not afraid. Brilliant. So. values are there children your schools have started i hope you are having a good time in your school be kind be good follow the values and show your teacher all the values and share our video with other friends tell your other friends about the youtube videos which we have got well over 30 now so next week another lesson another value goodbye bye